Another Shakespearean masterpiece. Hooray! Anyway, today we're reviewing Spores. What? No! Don't tell me you're reviewing that episode! I'm afraid he is reviewing that episode. Yay! He's reviewing Spores! The greatest episode ever! Hey Wolf, how did you know he was reviewing Spores? Have you two been keeping secrets from me? That's not important right now. What is important, however, is this. Blacksmith, you are putting your sanity at risk if you review this episode. Eh, can't be that bad. But it's too dangerous! I'm still recovering from that crap fest of an episode! Guys, I know what I'm doing, alright? I'll be fine. Fine, you did tackle intruders before, but if you need anything, you know who to call. Don't say we didn't warn you. Stay strong, Blacksmith Orange. Godspeed. Good luck, Blacksmith. You'll need it. The episode opens up with a family trying to hijack a car. Now, when I first saw this episode, I was like, what the, they're already trying to leave or something? Because I thought, wow, they, they must be getting chased by something already if they want to leave so soon. But nope, it turns out that there's someone in the car that they're trying to get out. That someone's name is Melvin. He's pretty much the only one with any brain cells in this episode. Also, was Melvin legit going to take off speeding? Eh, who can blame him? Anyway, this dysfunctional as fuck family is about to go hiking. And then... Some guy who obviously isn't the villain shows up. Yeah, yeah, he's very subtle. Oh, oh my god, he... This suspense is killing. He's a villain, isn't he? Yeah, I thought so. Anyway, Melvin, being the only smart one in the family, decides to tell them that what they are potentially getting themselves into. Which, I know some people might find it annoying, especially with someone being this ca but cautious, but, you know... Didn't these people bring bug, bug spray a little? May maybe something to protect themselves? No, they're just going in blindly? Alright. Please. This hike means a lot to your father. Just try to get in the spirit, could you? For me? Look, I promise I won't let anything bad happen to you. What a nice woman, right? Looks like Melvin will be safe in the woods. Or at least have some sense of security other than his dickish family. Yeah, don't get used to her, because, spoiler alert, she dies. Within not even the first, I'd say, ten minutes. So why is this hike happening anyway? This trip was booked a year in advance. The campsites are private, reserved, and non-refundable. You've wasted our time, Melvin. Now you want to waste our money too? Well, I am not going to let us lose to Bill Needleman. I told him it was game on. Aye. So you put down so much money and went through so much trouble just so you could tell Bill, your boss to suck it. I sure hope Bill ne Needleman isn't a mass murderer. Ooh, I'm gonna kill more people than you, Bill. Holy shit, it's Michelle Creeper. I guess she voices a pony or something. A anyway, after a while they finally decide to go in the woods. Much to Melvin's pleasure. A clock. A grandfather clock. Yep. Oh, <laughs> seven for seven. Alright. Alright, I got my next one. It's a woolly mammoth. Before any of you ask, this scene means absolutely fucking nothing. Oh, but wait! But then we learn that Jack Jr. and Jacqueline, yeah, her name's Jacqueline, I know, very creative, are twins! Now pay close attention because that becomes sort of important later. Yeah, not at all. Let's not push it, Jack. I mean... Melvin's not as fast on his feet as the rest of us. He's here because he knows how much this trip means to you. Why don't we, we focus on making this a hike to remember, no matter how much time it takes to reach the top. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Well, no, I just... This family is making it to Lookout Point in three days. You and Melvin can take as long as you like. Right, kids? Yeah. yeah. 
You want to come on my vacation? <laughs> you must want me dead, bitch. Oh, trust me. Jack Sr.'s emotional abuse slash manipulation will only get worse from here on out. Anyway, they continue walking. Everyone's a dick. She has to take a piss, which she goes by herself, which segues into... Yeah, you'd have to be fucking stupid to not know where this is going. She gets pixie stick powder on her, which turns her into a mushroom. Wow. Hey, uh, is anything scary, or at least remotely interesting, going to happen? There's, like, no hook on this in this episode. There's nothing to grab you. Near Mint Condition had a better hook. At least the idea of a killer teddy bear was the more interesting. Look! Look here! What is it? He's literally afraid of roots. It looked like a hand. Are you scared of berries, too? Some of them? Yes. Alright. As dickish as these characters can be, with the exception of Melvin, I have to agree with them. There's literally nothing interesting going on. Why can't we go back to the mother? At least something interesting will be happening. This It's literally a root. Wait. What the hell's the point? Why, is, is this just filler or something? It has to be that. Anyway, Mama disappears and it takes these fuckwits literally the next day to realize it. Anyway, they go off to find the mother, but how do they do that? They literally continue going to lookout point. Yeah, at this point, I don't care if any of these fuckwits die or not. On the plus side, we get a scene where Melvin stands up to his father. It's your fault. What did you say? Why do we always have to do what you want? Exactly how you want it. This vacation. Every vacation is your vacation. Why can't we all just have fun in our own ways? Because if I let that happen, there'd be no family unit. You'd all be off doing your own things, and we'd never see each other. You're all growing up too fast as it is right now anyway. We need to stick together, okay? As a family. That's why everything has to be the way I say. Because Look! I so, here's what I got from that. Basically, we can all have fun as a family, as long as we're doing something that I like. If you don't like it, then you're not part of this family. It's funny, at the beginning, he seemed to only care about this because he wanted to beat his boss's record. Now, all of a sudden, he wants to spend time with his family? Yeah, this... <sighs> when... At what point do, do these characters die? Because it can't be too soon. Anyway, Mother makes another rare appearance, but then disappears again. Adding more to the tediousness. Blah, 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 nothing else happens. Blah, 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 who the fuck cares? Blah, 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 they walk, they walk, blah, 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 blah. Oh, oh, it's nighttime now. Oh, oh, there. He's trying to be a father or some shit. Oh, yeah. By the way, if the quality of my sound sounds a little bit different, or if the... Earape mic, earape sound quality is a little more earapey than it's because I lost my microphone cover, the cover that goes over it, and I really don't give two shits about finding it because it's too fucking small. And if it hurts your sense, if you have sensitive hearing or whatever, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Maybe turn your volume down at this from here on out. Maybe I don't know, but I'm not gonna really make an effort into finding it because these take forever to make. Anyway, Jack Sr. tries apologizing for a change, but that doesn't matter because he dies literally two seconds later. Yep. Uh, Pops, you don't look so good. Maybe you should hydrate? Uh, your father is green. I don't think his water intake is an issue at this point. Anyway, the father insists on continuing despite being out of his fucking mind. The kids actually insist on following him. They really want to beat that record too, don't they? Yep. Did he hit the tree? Anyway, oh, 
They made it to Lookout Point. That's definitely what we've been waiting for this entire episode. That's... Yeah, we weren't expecting anything scary to happen. Wow. This, this show speaks to us. Anyway, they make it to Lookout Point only to discover... The Lost Hikers! What the heck is going on? What's happening? You know, those things look strikingly familiar. Um... <laughs> Yep, thought so. So they run off and Melvin further explains why their mo the monsters in this episode are not so original. What the heck happened to their faces? Cordyceps. It's a fungus. A parasite. When Cordyceps attacks... Anyway, then Apple Bloom gets infected. We can't just leave her. She's my sister. That's not... That's right, Jack Jr. She's not Melvin's sister or anything. She's your sister and... Your sister only. Why are the writers making an effort to make these characters unlikable? They've already done enough. What's even more painful is that th these are from the writers of my old house. Then Jack Jr. gets infected next. How? Well, get this. It's because they're twins. The fact that they're twins somehow got Jack Jr. infected. At this point, with all of the care that went into this episode, which, believe me, there was none, there's none, at this point, I wouldn't be shocked if they filmed the next scene with dancing orcas in the background. Anyway, Melvin runs all the way back to square one. I would question why he, or how he made it back so fast, despite the fact that it took them nearly days to make it to Lookout Point, but yeah, I, I really don't care at this point. I just want this episode to end already. So then Melvin encounters an edgy ranger again, who proceeds to blow spores into his face. And then, what's gonna happen? Oh, the episode's over, yay. And obviously that's the end of Spores, and it was kind of boring. It, I remember being bored by it on my first viewing. Uh, it brought literally nothing new to the table. They literally used the clickers, yeah, as if we wouldn't notice. And th they didn't even do anything new with them, they just did the exact same thing they do in Last of Us. I gave zero shits for any of these characters, with the exception of maybe Melvin and his mom. But the thing is, the mother died too early, and Melvin, yeah, it would have been cool to see a little more brave moments from him. He had some, but not enough to, like, make him stick. I, it, this episode was slow. The... Some of the continuity, some of the logic made absolutely no sense. Uh, it just felt lazy. I didn't care for this one, and I give it a D+. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.